you know, I'm no stranger to, uh, to hard times, so. <laughs> See, you cried and you made me cry. <laughs> um, just digging deep, honestly, you know, uh, you're gonna be faced with adversities um, throughout your life. Uh, this was a pretty big one, but I just kind of relied on my hard work. An emotional Brittany Griner spoke publicly for the first time since being wrongfully detained in Russia for nearly 300 days as she recounted her first moments on U.S. soil. It's hard to really realize it's, it's happening. You know, it's like, I'm really here. Like, this is really my teammates here. Uh, so it was, it was just liberating. It was, it was so great. She explained what the mental and physical challenges of ramping up the game speed have been like. Coming back from basically, you know, doing nothing, uh, not having any gym or anything to, to be at, um, getting back into it was hard. It, it's still a process. Um, you know, just the little things. I mean, doing a plank. Because as an athlete, you always want to be where you left off. And I left off playoffs, you know, finals, Chicago. Um, and I wanted to be that, that player when I started back. And uh, just everybody telling me to give myself grace and uh, take, it's gonna take time, but that's the hardest thing to do to, to a pro athlete, because we always wanna be right back at our tip top shape. And as far as her overseas career, that was an easy answer for Griner. Never going overseas to play again unless I'm representing my country uh, at the Olympics. You know, uh, if, I, if I make that team, that would be the only time I would, I would leave the U.S. soil. Um, and that's just to represent the USA. Her work is not done yet, though, as she continues to spread the word for American detainees overseas. To everyone that is wrongfully detained um, right now across the world, uh, stay strong, um, just keep waking up, find a little routine and, and stick to that routine and as best you can. I know that's what, what helped me, just finding little things if it was just whatever it was. Just keep pushing because we're, we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop fighting. We're not going to stop bringing awareness to everyone that's, that's left behind right now. From Footprint Center, Eliav Gabay, Sports 360 AZ.